Hello everyone, welcome back to Maxman 12 on Court Farms. I am here at the rabbit pen, um, deciding if we should get rabbits. So, they are quite cheap. Uh, let's just take a look. I have baby rabbits and uh, regular rabbits. So, they are very cheap. So 150 for, yeah. So we'll be deciding that later this episode. Right now, I was just, um, let's see. Let's just take a look at our fields. They are all partially fertilized. Now, like I was mentioning last episode, what sh should we do with this field? Let's just take a little look. Oh, no, I'm not gonna teleport actually, that's cheating. So let's get into, um, the, here we are. I'm gonna go test to see if, uh, that field can be drilled with a direct cedar. So let's just go check it out there. If not, I have not sold the cultivator or plow yet. So, whoa. I got a mud shower from the track tractor. Okay, there we are. Uh, I'm just gonna go this way. Okay, so I'm just gonna test it right here see if it leaves a mark or or pl plants it or anything no okay well that's depressing um, it looks like we're going to have to get a cultivator and create a uh, create a field Actually, we'll do the we'll do that with the McCormick. So the cultivator we have right now is quite small, three meters. Three meters, like from this plant to this plant. So that will certainly not do. We will be leasing a, a bigger cultivator. Let's get the McCormick here. And we will be taking the uh, cultivator and plow to the store to get a little more money in them, sell them there, and then we can lease a bigger cultivator or get a bigger one. Let's get into the workshop. And I still have not found out why the doors automatically open it's a farm a mystery and it's it's not just happening in court farms either it's a uh, it's happening every other farm i've been to hobelo uh, hobeleron um they open automatically i've been i went to waldston or however you pronounce it they're they're automatically opening Island Banhoff automatically opening. Yeah, all of those maps, the doors are opening too. Even at Elm Creek, so I don't know what happened, but okay, this is just not working. Okay. There's the corpse spader. Whoa. And the plow. 
Okay. We are now gonna be heading to the store. And, oh man, I left a note on my computer, but I moved it earlier this morning to look for, I left a note to look for a cheap Forge Wagon on Mod Hub, but uh, I moved the note this morning while I was cleaning up, and I forgot, so. I'll remind myself. Once we get to a straight part, I'll put this thing on cruise control and write a note. Now, okay. Cheap. Forage wagon. Watch out. Okay. All right. I have a note now, so I will not forget tomorrow. Still on cruise control. Okay, I'm back. It's this way, I remembered. This lane. All right, so I have no idea how much these are selling for. We'll find out in a minute. They have been depreciating as we speak, so we should get there quick. Oh yeah, right there. They are going down. The price is going down for these. Okay. We do have a seed big bag from our attempt last up. Oh, the forklift. Ghost forklift. We do have a seed bag from yesterday's last episode's attempt of um, putting three big bags in the fertilizer spreader. Okay, perfect. So, okay, so the plow is selling for 14,000. We have not used it at all. Re I guess we'll repaint it. And then we'll repaint this one as well. And then we can sell them. Four, sell. Okay, so now we're just left with the tractor. Oh, finally we have some money in the bank account. Well, we did, but we spent it all on some new stuff. So we have $40,754. And now let's head to the cultivator section. Here we go. Now, we don't want a huge one. But we don't want a small one either. Let's see, this one's six meters. This is 5.78 meters. That's, that's nice. The eight meters is. Ooh. And we could lease that for 3,000. Uh, or this one for five meters. Could lease this one. I'll get it if it's under 1,000. No. Okay. I feel like this one's really worth it. So we're going to go with the big. Lease 3,000, and we will be done in no time. So uh, that's perfect. Oops. I hope the people in there didn't see me driving. Ah, oh, there's only one person in. It doesn't look like he works there. So that's nice. Okay, good. The forklift isn't over here. It's not really the oh, deer cement mixer okay so a forklift is scary it's just interesting because it goes right through you unlike the AI traffic which does not go through you at all like this stop well yeah you see you know what I mean the forklift goes through cars it is weird I mean Actually, it's not that. I wish you could go through these cars as well. That way, they won't always stop all the time. 
even when you're ten feet away from them. So we will uh, see what crop we should, well, check out what crop we should put in the in the field we're about to make. So I would like to have all crops that are originally made from this crop uh, from this map harvested by episode 10 eh, give it, we'll give it some more time 12 oh here is a cool uh, here's a camper it's cool so we'll probably drill linseed which is one of the crops we don't have that could with this map huh i wonder if you buy that land right there if you can if you if those greenhouses will be able to work interesting i also feel like we should get some greenhouses soon i have a greenhouse mod called coffee production and it produces co raw coffee beans and stuff and there's a cool factory you can get to make them into roasted but if you sell the raw coffee beans you can get uh, ten thousand dollars for a thousand liters, and they produce super fast. Like, oh, you get pretty much one pallet every two minutes. It's crazy. So that's uh, so, but you you get like if you sleep for one night. Um, one second. Oh no. Do I have allow create fields on this? No, I don't have it enabled. Well, I don't have it installed. Okay, back in the house. Now, let's get to the McCormick. Okay, allow create fields. Perfect. It's great. Oh, the deer. Hey. There's a deer. It's green and it and it has a name. John. It's dusty. Okay, there we go. Don't want it to be too dusty. Okay, well, while I'm making this field, it won't take too long because we have a huge Colts fader, but I'll see you when I'm done. Alrighty, so it hasn't been very long. It's been about six minutes now. Um, it's a very nice cultivator. I'm hoping we can buy this. Uh, actually, we don't even need a cultivator. We have a direct cedar. So yeah, I know I missed a little bit over there. And my dog is playing on my field. I don't want to run him over, even though he won't get hurt. But 
I want it to be realistic. And so I don't think this episode I'm going, whoa, watch out. I don't think this episode I'm going to seed this field. Um, I think we'll do a little bit of fertilizing and then um, uh, maybe, just maybe, if we have time, we can buy, well, maybe probably rent um a orange wagon and uh and then seed uh, and uh start collecting some grass for the silage pit and if you're wondering why i didn't buy this um this um cult spader either it's because we're only probably going to use it this once or making new fields and stuff but and we did start off owning this piece of land too I wouldn't consider it a grass field on the map it's not registered a field it's just registered a piece of land that I own so so I'm glad we're able to turn it into a field so that way we can grow some good crops in this field and yeah, I did kind of make a little mess over there by cultivating into the path. I'll fix that at a different time. There's not uh, a long bit. I mean, there. I'll do. I'll, uh, there's not a big bit left. I mean, I'll do. I will do this long ways that way we can get more done without having to flip around so much but probably five six more passes then the whole field sh should be ready or cultivated i should say cultivated in next episode we will um actually i'm gonna change um I'll do half the field. Uh, see, I'll just, I'll seed half the field myself, and then I'll hire a worker for the other field. Cause next episode, I think we are going to get some greenhouses if we have enough money, and maybe some sheep, cause we have a lot of grass. And the silage we will sell, cause. Uh, we don't need it for anything. There is a 50% chance we will get it, be getting cows this series. Um, obviously, we are not going to become cow farmers. It's not going to be super complicated either. Because we this isn't just cow series. It's, um, it's arable farming too. But I would like to have change, have some cows. I rarely have cows in my series because they're so hard to do. Because you gotta like do total TMR, total mixation. Uh, you have to do straw in their um, in their pens, cow pens or whatever, which is the worst part because you have to have a special machine. You can't just put straw bales in the thing. But yeah, we'll tr I'll try to get some cows. And if we don't, if we don't get milk or anything, who cares? It will just have, it's just for fun. We'll get some, we'll get some, yeah. Yeah, so stay tuned for cows. Obviously it won't be right this minute because 
we're still once we have at least a hundred thousand dollars we will get some cows no promises no promises but we will have we'll try i'll try also there is a mod for like uh t total mixed ration big bags so even though those are probably expensive but we could always just make the bales on our own okay i'm gonna check for any little pieces of grass i missed okay we look good fold it up well i guess we don't have to but okay and let's return it let's see we used it for two out point two hours return that's a nice uh cultivator very that that didn't even take that long okay we'll fertilize our uh, field beans and rye field and then yeah The reason I don't want to seed today is because, one, I, my, I'd like to have my episodes under 35 minutes. Um, I don't want them to be... Last episode was a little longer than I was expecting because um, I, was, I thought there would be more time lapses. But I realized I only had two or maybe just even one. But I'd like to have my videos around 30 or at least less than 35 minutes. And I always like to, sp um, and the other reason I don't wanna, I, I'm not gonna seed is because I like to keep my videos different. I don't want them to be focused on just one thing unless it's, um, unless it's like, I don't know, unless it, unless there's nothing else to do, then yeah. If there was nothing else to do right now, right now in the episode, yeah, I'd probably end it. But if it was only like 15 minutes in, I would see. But okay, so enough talking for now. Uh, I'll see you when I'm done fertilizing both fields. See you soon. Right, I, um, so, we will not have enough time to do both fields, though, so, uh, we will do the rye field tomorrow, or next episode, yeah, so, and if you are wondering why I did not have an episode yesterday, uh, I was busy, and so that's why I'm doing two today. And that only that will only make sense if you watch this video the day of release or the day after. So um, that is why. So next episode um, we will be finishing the fertilizing for this uh, for field number fifty six. And then uh, we'll get some greenhouses. Um, and then we'll seed our new, parenthesis, uh, quotes, a uh, field. Quotation marks, new field. Yeah, there we go, got it. Okay, and then there's a little bit that we did miss.
and uh, field beans have six stages of growth. Did I say soybeans? Well, if I did, field beans have six stages of growth, and I'm not quite sure what they're on right now. Chop out three out of six. Okay, these uh, the field beans will be ready in th um, four episodes. So that will be episode eight. So I will put the fertilizer spreader on the rye field. It's gonna be a lot easier to notice, to know the spots I have fertilized. And rabbits. Well, that ends us here for today. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. See you on